Hello and welcome to this video and thank you so much for purchasing this course. My name is Imani Lokafo and in this video I'll be introducing you guys to what rigid body constraint is. We'll be working with this simple scene that I have set up it's so it only has some rigid body physics. It's a set to active and this is set to passive. So now let's add a basic constraint. To add constraints in Blender, you, you can't just apply it to objects. You have to add another separate object to be able to do that. So we're adding the empty. So a simple plain empty. So we'll place it um, around here. Okay. So let's move this object closer. Okay. So if I should play this animation, you see they are four like separate objects, but when, once you add the rigid body constraint, it behaves quite differently. So selecting the empty, I'm going to click on rigid body constraint. And the rigid body constraint I'll be using to start up is the fixed rigid body constraint. So as you can see, the interface is quite easy and not much certain. So the first one is you could disable it and importantly, the breakable. So we'll talk about this in a bit. Um, next, you have the objects. And for the objects, you have to select two objects that has rigid body in your scene. So once we do that and we we'll play, you can see it's behaving quite differently. So let's make the effect more apparent. So I'm, ju go I'm just going to rotate this cube slightly. And if you play it now, so you can see that these two objects behave like they are bound, they are connected together. Um, that's because of the rigid body constraint. So uh, you can also see the override iteration. So this is just to uh, when baking and you want to get more smoother animation, then you could play with this factor. Okay, let's add it to this one too. So we'll duplicate this empty. And for the objects, we'll select this object and select this object and once we play it see we get this okay um so now let's talk about the breakable so if we click on this breakable this basically means that this bond can be broken if a certain threshold is met so setting it at 10 is quite high so it's gonna it, the force that were getting here is not strong enough to break it at the threshold of 10. But you can reduce this, reduce this value to something smaller. So we're going to set it to 3. And now if we play it, so the threshold is small and is capable of breaking this bond. Okay, um, so let's apply it also to this one. Set it breakable and click on 3. And if we play it, as you can see so that's basically um, what the fi that's just basic constraint so that's the fixed constraint so let's um, go to something more advanced for this I'm going to delete everything and we'll just add simple cube and we'll duplicate it several okay okay and let's create a bigger one that this will be the hinge so we're trying to create a hinge cons um, constraint now and now let's apply rigid body to apply rigid body to multiple objects in blender you just hit the search key and type add rigid bodies and once once you click on that you can apply it to multiple objects and if in case you want to ever change the settings you can hold down alt and change the value and it's going to apply it to uh, all sorry you have to select everything hold down alt and change it's going to apply the value to all the objects okay so now if we play this it just falls down okay so let's set up the rigid body constraint and now we're going to add a different type of empty and that empty is called this arrow empty so let me for visual purposes let me click in front 
so we can see through the object I will place it in between here okay so the rigid body constraint we're going to be adding is called the hinge constraint so it's if you have ever seen a pendulum um, that swings from left to right so that's what we're trying to recreate here and this empty is going to act as a pivot point so you have to place it around the area where you want it to rotate from and also the reason I added an empty with the X Y and Z coordinates is because we need it as a visual guide because you can use it to determine where how the objects will be able to rotate so if you set it so x is going to rotate differently from when you set it to rotate from the z axis so that's um, why you need this visual guide so let's add the constraint select the empty and go to the physics tab select rigid body constraint and this time we're going to set it to hinge and as you can see we have some of the settings from the previous one so let's rotate it let's put y to be facing the object okay and now anywhere the y is facing this is going the first one has to be the child and this the second one has to be the parent okay so that this is like rotating from this and that's how it will carry on to the rest okay so let's play this animation and see and now they all just fall down so we have to make this a passive object and now as you can see it's swinging left left to right so let's apply it to the rest we'll duplicate this place it here select the child and select the parent duplicate it again and do the same thing child and parent so now if we play the animation it's swinging so um, we can let's get more motion we can select everything and just rotate it slightly and now can get the full range of the motion so this constraint is called the hinge constraint and it, this is a basic constraint that will be used to set up the rigid um the ragdoll physics so let's try rotating this coordinates to something different and you see we get a different reaction um rotation so if we set it to rotate from the z As you can see it's rotating differently this is trying to spin um, unlike the rest so that's what you should bear in mind when setting up the hinge constraint so this is just a basic introduction to a blender rigid body constraint and yeah so that's all for this video see you in the next one